So I am fishing in Penners Lake. I've drawn peg eight. This midweek match, uh, Wednesday, there's 18 of us fishing. Uh, not sure exactly how it's going to fish, to be honest, because the fish have been spawning. So started short on pace, just rattling a few pellets, and then loose feeding pellets long, priming my light shallow line. All I could catch was skimmers, nightmare. Paste obviously was not right, but it definitely would have been better to fish hard pellets and pretty much starve them on the hook, I think. Um, I definitely can't get my head around the uh, redhead at the moment. Make sure you stay hydrated. So yeah, the moment skimmer a chuck, not going really anywhere. Mikey Williams had a good start. He's to my left in the late thirties. He's catching a few mug in, and the lad on peg two is also catching um, mug in as well. But a few lads were. It, it didn't start great for most people, to be fair. So the pace rig is just through a short kit. So I've got a 2.5 trio core elastic. I have to think about that. Through a short kit, just fishing 018 straight through. Um, and then, so if I hook anything, I'd like to think I'll get anything out on that. And also, because this can be quite prolific, then obviously I give myself a chance of catching fast, if that makes sense. So this is the first carp I hooked, which didn't feel right. And there he goes, just jumps. I think that was in the tail. So just come off, just a hook pull. So just over half an hour into the match, and all I've caught is skimmers, a couple of roach on uh, our pellets long. So a moment and just like lifting and dropping and slapping and stuff. So I've got two mil hollow elastic for a long kit. O18 main line, O12 up length, 18 up, Vander pellet, six mil. And just loose feeding four mils, just seafood, it's um, seafood carp pellets. So, this is actually a carp, not very big, a couple of pounds. Looking around, still fishing reasonably hard by uh, regular standards. And I don't know why that came off, just got pulled. It's in the mouth because I saw it. Sometimes I'm just beginning to think it's going to be one of them days, to be honest. I'm 35 minutes in, I ain't even got a decent fish in the net yet. Definitely not the target fish we want. But hey, it's not a sprint. That's come off. So for those who don't know Penn is, it's, it's very deep. Probably where I'm fishing 
at 40 meters is probably going to be maybe nine foot deep so i don't even bother kitting up a deck rig all i've kitted up is uh, a couple of jiggers a couple of overshotted rigs um a slapping rig and then even just put the carp or an f1 down catching the roach and a couple of rigs for fish and paste shallow as well because that can work really well So just keep working, lifting, dropping, slapping it. Wish I just had a little bit more ripple. If you look to the right, you can see there's just a little bit more ripple. I'm not making excuses. Just, just you know, it out with these F1s. So hopefully I'll get this in, because this will be my first proper fish. I'm probably about 45 minutes into the match. Important obviously because really hot, keep hydrated. Got the sunblock on there as well, especially been ginger. And obviously, just keep feeding, just try and keep them fishing in the. Uh, competing in the upper layers. This is actually foul up. So the carp about maybe three pound. Some great big carp in here. Uh, Neil, my mate, he had one. He reckons about seventeen pound today. And there, there is some loads of like low double figure fish in here. So it doesn't take long to uh, pull it back. Get out of jail fish.
So just got a little bit funny fishing like the jigger, trying to slap it and lift it and drop it. So just go on the first drop in with a paste, just spook one. Almost on my short line, it's not really, really where I've been feeding. So this is about maybe 12 inches deep. And it's good, it just when you fish page however, they just look themselves, really savage bites. Just fishing a light elastic. But I couldn't I only had, I think I only had about three fish doing it. Basically I, when I changed it I get one first plop on it and then after that I won't get one. So it wasn't right. So I've had to come short, probably just about halfway stage. A few carp were beginning to get caught around the lake not loads but you could see people like dropping short and coming down the edges and a few fish getting caught a guy to my left Dwayne he um he was catching well to his like left edge on corn about maybe a meter away from the bank but I've had to I've had to do something now because I wasn't lining up the other ones falling further and further behind but I'm not panicking because I know Still got three hours left. Still got loads of time to do a wait. Especially the size of some of the fish. So, decided to go down the edge. I've seen a little bit of movement down the edge, so I big potted two big pots of micros. Because so I couldn't catch nothing, all I could catch was like a few little skimmers, nothing seemed to be really coming into the peg. So I literally big potted it, and then within a couple of minutes I've had signs of fish, so like kicking up dirt. And you know they're not skimmers, it's not kick, uh, skimmer dirt. That was a proper bite, it literally just like float went under, elastic come out. So down the edge I just got O20 straight through and again on the uh the short kit with the red trio core, which is 2.5 mil. So not brutally savage, but obviously through a short kit that powers up really quick. Be no good if it was like a great big lake, say like like Manor Farm, say for fishing like Boundary, because when you work them, they just cut off so fast that obviously it just bottle you, bottle you out and obviously you know break you either break your line or break your pole or break your elastic or just up pull, which you obviously don't want any of that. Quite, quite hard. Good fish. This is my biggest fish of the day. It's probably about eight pound. Just tighten up my net.
So if I could fish it again, I definitely would fish our pallet short and I just would try and starve them on the oak. Definitely wouldn't want to start short because you want to build up your shallow line. And then, whatchamacallit, perfect match sort of light catch, maybe two, three hours shallow. And then start to feed like your short line and then down the edges, but no big pots, no going crazy, just maybe do what like Dwayne done next to me. On peg six, he just fished down towards peg five and just come about a meter away from the bank and just like toss potted it and just sat there and waited. And you know, I had a steady run of fish, he had 170 pounds, so give me a bit of a whooping. Um, like I say, some of the fish are very big here, so it doesn't take long to do a weight. So, you know, things are just a bit weird at the moment with them sort of like the weather up and down. And also fish, you know, thinking about spawning and have, have some fish have already spawned and some of the carp are having their second round of spawning, so, you know, so lesson learned really. So I'm here next week, it's on the smaller lakes, so I believe Molly's and Tilly's, I think, or maybe Sophie's, I don't know, I, I'm not sure, but anyway, I know it's on the, the two smaller lakes, so I'm looking forward to that already. So, definitely will bring pace with me because I'm just a bit of a pace dad. And I know it's going to lift off, but definitely will start on our pellets. Just have a couple of pace rigs made up just in case, but more out for pellets and just try and be steady eddy away rather than trying to fill it in and catch a massive weight, which is not really on the cards at the moment. Got to fish to your pegs, like limitations, really. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you soon.